everyone welcome to my channel again um today i'm going to talk about Riemann sum so how to find the Riemann sum of any function okay so all you need to do is to just type the name of the function and then the interval that you're supposed to find the Riemann sum so let's say we are using x squared and you are finding from so x squared so we just type function Response function so the function is x squared and let's say you are finding from one to so let's say four um, let's let's say three actually. Yeah, cool. So all you need to do is to expand this nicely. Let me do that. I can expand it. So you can see that you're starting from one to three. So I actually enter the function that way. So all you need to do is to define a slider. They are trying to say that the cause that will determine the number of rectangles. So we call it n, number of rectangles. And we know it is positive, so we are starting from 0 to let's say 1000, the centimeter. And now I'm this one. Good. Good. So the next thing is to do rewind sum. So you can do upper sum. So you just type upper sum. Upper sum. That's it. So you need to do, you can actually define it and call it, um, um, let's call it a person. It's like the, the right to remain sum. <clears throat> so a person, you enter the function. The function is f. Where should I start value? You're starting from 1 and end at 3. Number of rectangles, we use n. The number of rectangles. Good. All right. And the upper sum is in the integral. So as you keep increasing the integral changes. Alright, so now the option is rounding. Alright, cool. So you can see the integral now. You can see the number of decimal places. Good. So the next thing is to do lower sum. You can type lower sum. Because lower sum. So lower sum of function, my start. My end value is 3. Number of rectangles is n. Okay, so let me actually undo this. So you can see this. Alright, cool. Let's take a break here. I see the lower sum is changing, both are changing. So that's it. So let's see the upper sum and lower sum. This one is the rational. So let's find the integral to see. So find it. integral. Integral. Function self value. Function is f. Self value is 1. My value is 3. So you can see it's 8.666. You can see the Riemann sums actually put the same values. Alright. So thank you for watching. Alright. Bye.